We have the uh, gold and silver Pyramithra, and we have Purple Roy, and we're starting on Final Destination. Okay, two very popular characters. Very good character, very aggressive characters. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what both of them bring to the table. For now, a lot of studying, but we know that Pyra Mit uh, Pit sorry, Mitra only needs one good setup, and he's going to chicken going to get a lot of damage. Ooh, not being able to close out that string, but immediately landing with the aggressive option. She was, uh, she dropped the combo, Cloudy dropped the combo there, but now uh, more damage. And like you said, it, uh, he wasn't even willing to stand up. He just waited and Cloudy punishing, him, punishing him even harder now without down, uh, the downer from Pyra to take the first stock. That huge downer that has, that's, that's the 599 there, ladies and gentlemen. That's the one that, that's the reason why you pay for the dude. That's the power of power. Always coming at the last time just to steal the, the show. Really great spike there and continue to the pressure here. But still, Roy is going to get a punish. He, he read the roll, but he was not ready for the punish. He didn't trust himself. He, he could have just gone for something right there, but now he's um, he's been lapped in percent. That fair is finally going to do it, but already at 105, and he has to be careful. Ira wants a big hit right here. <laughs> He was anticipating the roll, he doesn't get it, he's preferred for that, but still, 140% against Pyra. You have to be careful because everything that does you can make kill you pretty quick. Okay, look at that coverage and he's done. He's dead. Beautiful yeah, there from Cloudy. <laughs> and just, I love how Mithra just goes out and the, the tiniest hit from the bean is enough because Roy's recovery doesn't have a lot of range and he has a lot of ground to make up here, but now taking that side V to the face, the grab, and the pressure from Cloudy has just been too much for Swain to handle so far. Yeah, and getting a lot of percentage right now. A lot of control, 90% without... Uh-oh, it's getting a little risky there, but oh, he has the option. Nice here from Cloudy, getting almost, yeah, no touch there, 109%. And he's close, to, he's close to a JB3. He just needs to... Oh, there, no, no JB for you, sir. But still, this this match has been uh, complete domination for Cloudy. He just needs to find a way to close it out. And, and Swain just trying to pile some going for the... Oh, oh no. no, I think oh, no. He, went, he went for it all. He, he wanted to try to even it up quickly. I think it, he, he knew that it was the best option, but Cloudy just able to answer back. I don't blame him. He needed to do something like that to try to even this up. Good reaction, good way to play the neutral there from Cloudy. Pra uh, practically taking advantage of his neutral. And the good frame data that Mitra has. Roy has very good frame data, but you have good frame data and you have Ma uh, Mitra's frame data. That's a different level. That's the best level right now. So very good there for Cloudy controlling the situation. Very good way to control also the the bad recovery from Roy. So let's see what adjustment is going to be also for Swain here on the second match. Well, first of all, we have a stage change and we're moving from Final Destination to Small Battlefield. He's going to have those uh, platforms to work with, but he really needs to be careful there with the, the off stage game. We saw Cloudy punish it in hard and already here trying to combo him, juggling and landing the hit with the side B. <laughs> Bro, Cloudy doesn't doesn't care. He just go. He just see the landing and immediately go for the side B. He knew. He knew middle and going all the way. Look at it. He's already at, at 108 percent and it's only like 25 seconds. Oh, what for a read for the roll? Doesn't get it. But still, a lot of difficulty here. So just to just to get a hit on me. Well, the speed and the, you said it. The frame data, 599 frame data, covering oh, no. the ledge with the up B. And do we get another one? No. He's able to escape from that, but still in disadvantage. Okay, 168%, doesn't matter the, the situation is that he cannot touch Mitra, only a couple of grabs, good hit there, try to get a good lead, careful with the race. Okay, yeah, he was starting to get, to get a, a juggle going, but he's, he's at such high percent, but he finally gets the advantage, puts Cloudy in a difficult position, the fair, and can he cover the ledge? I think that's going to do it, and for the first time, Swain was able to, to contain all of the, the aggression that Cloudy started out with, and able to keep his stock in... Still keeping it for now, but Pyra's out. He has to be careful. Beautiful patience there. He anticipated the the air dodge in, and he got the good punish and got the kill. And now trying to stay alive. Okay, I get it. He tried. He tried. He he tried to escape <laughs> from the beam that he knew was coming. And at the same time, that was like the top tier intimidation here from Mitra. He do doesn't need to hit. Just try. You have to install the fear on the opponent and get this stuff. Very good there from Flowey. But we saw him live up to uh, 195. That was uh, a big difference in that first stock. Right now, percents are almost even. But it seems like Swain is starting to find his footing. A slight lead now and pressuring on the ledge. Cloudy uh, finds himself getting ledge trapped. 
Yeah, you know, I don't actually think he's more of the stage. I think it's just he's playing very uh, better than neutral. He's waiting there. Okay, nice. Ready to roll it in and get a good punish. Try to go deep again. Immediately the OB. Yeah, it was pretty risky there. And okay, did he have a jump or well, I. I think he didn't realize because he he got the tech, but then he was too far away. Mithra, uh, we know that they have the top tier frame data, but the recovery is uh, leaves a lot to be desired. And now Swain again firing the quick combo, getting Cloudy up to almost sixty percent. Okay, very good second game here for Swain controlling very, doing a lot of adjustments on the during the match and getting there, but immediately how good you're anticipating the jump there from Cloudy. Good punish, but still a lot of percentage here on the last stock right now for Cloudy. Yes, and we see, we see Swain pressuring uh, up to 106% already. Cloudy finally getting a combo of his own. He's going to try to stretch this as much as possible. Gets the juggle and keeps it going. And oh, now Swain can't find the landing and still being pressured. He, he can't, uh, the floor is lava for him right now. Okay, a lot of control there, trying to make the comeback. Okay, let's see. What he's gonna do Swain trying to make the pressure with the neutral air, still not yet. Very close this game. We know what Parametra can do, so we cannot get you cannot trust in this difference of percentage. And here comes Pyra, be careful here. And the jab, he's going to put it in a bad situation. Pyra going for the ledge, uh, the edge guard, and. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, P Pyra, uh, Pyra was just there to finish the job. Mithra got him in a bad position with the up B. Pyra said, it's my turn. And the forward smash sending a message. You might be improving, but you're still not getting this win. Man, that fair ship. That fair <laughs> ship. He just did a big to control. That, <laughs> that range, that up B is so good. I'm loving how Cloud is using Mithra's up B just to... Just to block it like it like a wall every time that Swain is trying to recover. He has to try to mix up just to try to evade that OB that's been so oppressive. Very good way to control the opponent. But well, Cl Cloudy also know how to use Roy, so I'm not surprised here to know. And of course, Roy being such a popular character, you need to know how to take advantage of his weaknesses. So very good will here from Cloudy. Yes, because uh, what we see is that he, he just needs the OB to hit to get him in a bad position. He knows that the, the beam is not going to kill, but he's going to do exactly what he needs as we're going now into a uh, game three. Uh, and we're starting, uh, the Swain decided to stay on the same stage. He said, okay, no, the stage was not the problem. I just need to be better. I just need to close out the game. I'm already doing a lot better than I was in that first game. Yes, I glance. Now we have another situation that's gonna be a reverse trio or Cloud is gonna advance with a trio if he continues with this pressure. For now, look at that. That very good up to control in space. Where are you going? You are not touching the ground. You are not okay, finally. But still the pressure immediately. That's how oppressive can Metro be with the speed and with the frame data. Yes, and we see the percent they're almost even this time able to get the tech. Go back to the stage, tried to get the spike there, or at least put him off stage again, but not able to. And right now, they're both uh, going at each other's throats. Are we going to see the Pyra? Not yet. Okay, okay. Oh, no, that's not going to be it. Red take chase, you're not going to be able to take that. So immediately, good punish there from Swain. Still 127%, have to be very careful because he can lose his stock almost immediately. Depending on what gonna do here, Cloudy. Okay. Yeah, but more so now that Pyra's out, he's gonna be chasing, not trying to allow him to land, but he's able to. And uh, here's the thing with uh, Pyra Mithra: every time when the opponent is at this high percent, you just need uh, Pyra to land one good hit, and there it is. <laughs> Pyra showing who has the stronger fire sword immediately. It's very good there from from Cloudy and nice. Okay, getting the Boots in the mix up there. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good setup there, getting the full speed there from the side B immediately and getting a very good down smash after that. And already 86% and getting the two frame there from Pyra. Very good there from Cloudy. I'm surprised he didn't change to Mitra. <laughs> well, he tried to go for it all and it, it almost worked out. He, he kept the combo going, he put him off stage and he was uh, a little bit off with his timing, but 109% on Swain when this match started out pretty even. Now Cloudy with a decent advantage. And he's not changing to Mitra, he wants to stay with Pyra, playing the neutral. A little bit of the weakness that Pyra has is that people feel that the, her neutral is also pretty lackluster, but at the same time, you have the advantage here compared on the range versus Roy, so very good there, anticipating the jump again. Beautiful from Cloudy, and immediately the backers, we know that attack is very dangerous and low percentage, and 
27%, 40%, and it's still growing and growing. That's how quick this damage grows when Mitra's hitting you. Already, already winning at stocks and at percentage, Claudio. And all the improvement that we had seen from Swain in, in game two seems to have uh, Cloudy just decided that I can improve too, you know, and we, we're seeing this dominance from him with Pyrus out and almost getting that spike to close it out. Swain needs an answer and fast, but he's still not able to get back to stage. Okay, that's not gonna be it's still pretty close right now. Very comfortable right now, Cloudy. And we see again, uh, Swain went for a, a sneaky downer right there, trying to at least get that stock but he hasn't been able to find it and i think that's going to be it and it is cloudy getting that dominant uh three oh swain did get some improvement uh but cloudy just establishing dominance with the the mithra and getting some good stocks with pyra not giving him any chance at all looking very comfortable in this set playing very well controlling every situation he was so comfortable he was trying to get a sneaky kill at the end on the last talk he was also trying to look for a couple of push tools there on that recovery of roy so he was feeling very well there cloudy he's getting warm up there for the next match in the winner's side good very well for him who's gonna be